hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this video in this video I'm going to be giving you an outline of a new folder I've opened in the members area called member screenshots with live and sim trading feedback this is where members can now share their trading charts with other members so you can basically look at the good the bad and the ugly and see what other members are doing and some of their winning trades and also sharing perhaps some of what I call their learning experiences that is some of their more difficult trades I'll also be giving commentary on many of these uh, screenshots as well so I thought a picture is worth a thousand words so I thought it was best I record a quick short video hopefully it'll be short on how to get involved in this and what to include and I've also got a couple of handouts which I think this is important because I can really see this as a great learning experience for traders for our members first of all you do know there's a risk in trading please feel free to uh, pause the video to read the disclaimer now this is where I it's really important I mention this and and I know you hear me talk about this regularly in the coaching classes and in the live trading room but are you merely interested in trading or are you committed in becoming a winning trader what's the difference well one will do what's convenient where the other will do whatever it takes and that is winning trades are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do winning traders are willing to become students of the markets and a big part of that of course is studying our charts trades that we've taken both the winners and the losers because we must remember that trading and the way that we trade our setups they're patterns it's a pattern solving exercise and I always come back to the theory of black box thinking that is success can only come when we confront our mistakes now what I've done is uploaded into the uh, into this particular folder which I'll show you where it is in a moment a series of questions and I know that most of you already have this you've printed it out and questions that we ask ponder on and act upon after each and every trade whether it be a losing trade or a winning trade what's not perfect yet how could I improve my entry my exit what did I learn what would I do differently next time what do I need to learn so this won't happen again and likewise when it comes to our winning trades exactly the same thing what did I learn from this winning trade could I improve my entry my exit how can I do this again and again is there anything you might do differently next time is there room for improvement this is what winning traders are willing to do so I'm going to be showing you in a moment where the folder is and a couple of guidelines and how you can grow from doing this yourself that is by creating your own uh, folder and by I call it labeling and marking up a chart you can then go back be reviewing your charts on a regular basis but also be reviewing what other members are doing because the feedback is right we always see what you're doing uh, where you take a trade where you exit a trade what are other members doing so that's really the purpose of this and uh, trader Jake one of our um, long-term traders was kind enough to put together some notes which I'll show you uh, in a moment now also I just want to mention that I mentioned uh, trader Jake well let's not forget um, Raymond H April Ali France uh, uh, bougie trader the Hulk uh, uh, Paul Smith uh, John Yee there are many many other traders of course that are contributors uh, to my website and give us great feedback for our members and also providing trading resources so uh, once again a big thank you and to those that I didn't mention uh, I know that other traders really appreciate your feedback so what can I learn from this so with that you may have received a link to a video a few days ago and just to make sure you did receive that link I opened up a folder uh, called latest updates and in that folder you'll find a whole range of either updated powerpoints or uh, new handouts uh, running trade sheets and I recorded a short 
video and quite a number of label charts that I've done for you so that is in that folder on the Google Drive called latest updates now also this PowerPoint I've also uploaded into the folder I'm about to show you so you'll be able to go back oh where was that again because with so many uh, folders it's sometimes easy to get lost there okay so that is in latest updates now the next one is a few days ago Raymond uh, uh, was kind enough to provide a video he recorded on how he trades my strategies using price action so within that folder there is uh, a link to a recording there's uh, and actually what have I got down here where's the handouts uh, here we go so how did they trade raise strategies using price action by Raymond Hay so it's a 25 minute video he talks about the strategies of a t3 with angulation a whole lot of other things and just down below you'll see the link uh, to the video so a big shout out a thank you to Raymond uh, another excellent video he also prepared an excellent um, three page uh, document on price action that I know you'll also find uh, very interesting so please go and visit that folder in the members area that now leads me to uh, this particular uh, reason for the main reason for this video member screenshots so you'll find that under M uh, here it is here I've also labeled a green when you log into the Google Drive you will see it's green but just just go to the section there for M and in it you'll find this PowerPoint some key points I'm about to show you in the PowerPoint and the empowering questions now there are two folders you will find that I've opened within that one folder so you log in there and you'll see these winning trades and rather than call it them losing trades I've called them learning experiences because we can learn from our losing trades so uh, as you'll see in a moment it would be fantastic if you're willing to do any videos as well so any videos uh, but they all must be based around uh, I'm a day trader strategies okay because we're to stay within the guidelines of what I teach members so a couple of guidelines here a couple of things to mention so key points of a folder system okay now this is uh, from uh, trader Jake just some words he said the biggest positive of ha having a space that actually brings us sub subscription let me get this right subscription holders together in a community sense now uh, I actually have to upload these okay so you'll email them to me and provided they're either a, a slight variation or they are the strategies that I teach our members that's that's so we stay consistent because with new traders they get it's very very easy for a new trader to become distracted distracted or uh, to become confused so we've got to try to keep it uh, really right down the guidelines that I teach 2b's 34b's t3's divergence trades etc but some slight variance or improvements if you've got any are welcome okay so as uh, Jake said it allow traders to see examples of charts other than mine so please uh, I want there's no need for me to really go through this because you can download the PowerPoint and also I've got it there in a in a PDF for you all of what um, uh, Jake recommends so see the mistakes and wins of others see the learning experiences and wins of others uh, okay so you can go through now what is very important though here is that you've got guidelines what do members really need to see so uh, here by the way if you've had a great day celebrate it share it open up a folder on your Google Drive develop the habit of doing this regularly now remember this folder is only going to work and I can already think of maybe 20 or 30 traders that are going to be contributing to this but of course the more the better uh, we get down here screenshot guidelines so here I've got guidelines are, uh, are in the document that you can download so really the more you put on the chart providing it's readable the better 
and also on the screenshot if you could just type in uh, your username or the name that you use when you log into either the live trading room or the coaching room so also whenever we go back and if we do do a, a review in the live trading room or in the coaching room uh, it's very easy easy for me to remember who the chart comes from because sometimes it can be a wee bit confusing okay uh, to also show the screenshot of the anchor chart one and the EC all right so ideally if you can do them on one screen but if that if uh, that's not possible you might need to send in multiple screens that's okay but but it's a lot easier uh, if I can see the entry chart and the anchor chart one now what Jake was kind enough to do also was and if you look here uh, you can see their 13b a 2b a 89b a 2d a 1019 or whatever how he's got that set up in ninja trader 8 okay so to get the coloring the shading etc he's, he's kind enough to have taken a screenshot for you there so once again Jake big thank you for this uh, here pointers for marking up the charts clear concise and I just want you to remember that other traders will be looking at this and and sometimes you know they can't they're not not going to be necessarily thinking what we're thinking all right so wherever possible make sure it's clear um, you know it's great if you can plot where the entry is or just just label it maybe put in a vertical line there okay um, down here uh, you can always use the cross here when you use it on both the entry chart and anchor chart one of course you get the lines so Jake has uh, really outlined this uh, really well so please um, uh, label them up uh, clearly now let's also remember there are some major benefits for you by doing this uh, one you're creating muscle memory it's been proven that by fit taking out or, or get or undertaking a physical activity that is either handwriting something down as the best of course or typing something up also helps you remember exactly what you're looking at and also uh, creates that memory of the setup likewise typing in your questions or, or even questions for yourself or even comments uh, such as if you do have a learning experience you make a mistake type it up where did you go wrong did you sell or buy straight into a pivot an open high low close area uh, did you get in late because you were distracted and uh, you know I, I just thought of um, Carol Dweck and her book mindset and as Carol says there's two types of mindset there's the fixed mindset uh, usually because of ego they don't want to be proven wrong uh, they're not open to new ideas you know ever it's ever it's always everyone else's fault then you've got the open-minded person okay where they're open-minded to new ideas it doesn't mean you don't verify the idea but you be open to learning and that's what this is really about so uh, what I'd like you to do and let me just perhaps just and I haven't put that there maybe we just do that here right now so trader at I'm a day trader whoops date let me get that right day I'm a day trader let me get this in at dot com is my email address I let's just get in this right I am a day trader yes I've got that right there <laughs> all right so um emailing your screenshot I of course there'll be that many I won't be able to get back to everyone on your screenshots some I will also cover as I mentioned in the live trading room or in the um, coaching room but every screenshot I'll upload okay and uh, um, and I know that a lot of benefits a lot of members will get benefits from these so please uh, email your screenshots read the handouts uh, of course this PowerPoint and once again I've got let me just show you this again all the key points there of the guidelines are all there in that folder and uh, so once again I better perhaps to show you this once more so you'll find it on my Google Drive member screenshots okay now of course you're going to be receiving notification of this by email 
so uh, um, yeah watch the video <laughs> okay go to the folder and please send in the screenshots and of course remember it can be on the simulator okay so thanks very much traders and I'll see you on the next video